Hey everybody, welcome back to the Evil Within 2. So, we're going to continue on with our little side adventure of preemptively fucking with the uh, final town area and getting all the flamethrower bits and everything before we go and um, deal with O'Neill. Because why not? Why not? Detective Castellanos. Good to see you again. Mm-hmm. Do I have any? I have one. Ah, you're surrounded by things. Shotgun shells. So I have four shoddy shells left. There's nothing wrong with being cautious. But you can't avoid fighting forever. Maybe you should think about adding some combat skills. Hmm. Getting the rest of the stamina upgrades, maybe? I could definitely do that. Or getting the rest of the... Actually... Probably getting the rest of the health upgrades would be the best idea. Alright, we need a whole bunch of... Never mind. <laughs> Never mind. Hmm... Actually, I think I was gonna. I think I was gonna say. Yeah, I was gonna save up and uh, try for the poison gas bolt. All right, we have to kill at least one more harbinger to get the other flamethrower tank we need. Okay, I know we cl I know we I went up and got the pretty sure I went and got that. Yeah, that's open. So yeah, I, I did go up and get that. Okay. They made the fucking fatty so goddamn durable in nightmare mode. I mean, really? Kind of. Hmm. I don't know. Let me just save out here, so... Actually, what I need... It, I should probably try to see if the explosive bolts still cause them to explode instantly.
forgot if I grabbed this stuff. I think I did. Yeah, I did. Oh, you're gonna wander over there. Actually, stealth kill these guys. Really? I figured it was going to explode in my face. Science. I didn't think you, I didn't think you'd be able to stealth kill those. That's fucking game changer. All right, let's just defuse the bomb. What's that? What was that noise? Please don't light on fire. You're gonna light on fire right now. He's just looking. Sniper rifle. Okay, we got the sniper rifle ammo pouch. sake. <laughs> okay, so the assault rifle... I mean, it should be obvious, but the assault rifle ammo pouch guys don't actually appear... 
until after the next story bit and you actually have the assault rifle. I mean, it makes sense. It would be interesting, though, if you could... Hey, I can carry, like, a fucking ass ton of assault rifle bullets. Ain't got a gun for it, but I got it. Then again, I suppose if it's your first time through, that would kind of be a bit spoilery. Another harbinger. Yes, whatever you say. I could get the uh, could get the poison bolt upgrade now, but then again, I don't exactly have a whole lot of smoke powder. Kind of been a little overly liberal with those. You're here. Good. What? Hey, you found Hey, man, can you go in here and kill a bunch of dudes help. so I can get That's my ass I, out? There's a problem in there. Damn. You get the. I get. I'll sh okay. Thanks. I got it. Tell me. Things are. There's some. You were. Sound. What's. Well, it, how did it. I got. I'm saying. Seems. What it. Uh, was it. Why. Their own. Why. And you don't. Hey. You know. Uh. Alright. Oh, yeah. It's set three, so I should probably say this again. This is just a filler LP, so I am skipping all the bullshit. Alright, let's do this before I get cold feet. On the other hand, this does mean we'll be getting the double barrel shotgun sooner. That should help with the harbingers. Maybe I, maybe I will upgrade the uh, attack power. I don't know. It, it just the attack power upgrade for the shotgun is just so fucking low. It's like maxed out, it's only an extra 30%. Looks abandoned. Spooky. Just gotta take care of whatever's down here and get the power back on. That kind of sucked. I didn't expect the second guy to wake up. Female zombies not beating on the door. Oh. Oh, well, okay. A zombie's not beating on the door.
You have an axe. Okay then, that was weird. Hmm. Should have been everybody. This is it then. Better call Sykes. All right, Sykes, I killed everything. You get down here now. It won't let me skip Thanks, this. Man. Wouldn't have been able to do it without you. Are you sure this is going to work? Can't skip no, it. No, but staying in here isn't gonna do me any good. Anything is worth a try at this point. Okay, it's all set. When you bring Lily back here, there's a timer right here. Turn it a quarter rotation, and then you just press this button. It'll give you 60 seconds to climb into the pod. You both should be able to fit in it together. I don't know, Sykes. I got a bad feeling about this. Look, man, I know what I'm doing, okay? Maybe you should hold off on this. Help me find Lily, and then we can all find another way out of here. I feel for you, man. I really do. But I'm doing the best thing I can do for you by getting this pod operational. Okay. If you say so. Wish me luck, Sebastian. I don't know why it won't let me skip any of this. Okay, bye. Thanks, I left you something in there for helping me. I'm not gonna need it where I'm going. See you on the other side, Sebastian. Bye. Can I move? Yes, he's gone. Ooh, spooky. He's gone. I wonder if it worked. as an emergency exit port has been declared a failure. Despite a 25% success rate, the decision has been made to discontinue research. One of four test subjects made the trip back. Back successfully. The other three simply ceased to be. We believe 
believes that the other 75% have been lost in an uncharted sublevel of STEM. A dream within a dream. From which there is no known way to return. Due to the number of unknown factors, the experiment has been abandoned. 25% chance of success. I'm not gonna risk Lily's life like that. Hope Sykes is out in the real world. One in four chance. Maybe he'll get lucky. Nah. Basically, that means there's a three in four chance that he's going to wind up in some DLC. Because it doesn't say they're dead. It just says, well... Then again, he might as well be, because even... Even if his consciousness ends up in, in a DLC campaign, when Myra procs that signal and kills everybody in Mobius, his ass is still going to be in a stem pod. So, yeah, he he'd still be he'd still be in a stem pod. And then the little chip would fry his brain. So yeah, even if his consciousness does survive to a DLC thing, then he, he, he's still kind of fucked when it comes to the real world. Ah, just watch. Oh, the evil within three is going to be some... Oh, yeah. Do I want the poison bolt things, or do I want to upgrade the, sh the super shotgun? I think I'm gonna, I'm gonna see, uh, see how much it... How much does it take to upgrade the shotgun's fire... firepower? Ninety two ten four fifty eight fifty. That's the thing I don't get about this is it? Uh, yeah, because I'm not really going to find all that much smoke powder for the poison thing to really be all that effective. Get the super shotgun. Oh shit, yeah, I had a key. There's also... You can't climb over... Mm. Oh, 
Oh, come on now. Okay, Captain McTracking. So we shanked him three times already. Okay, so these guys you only have to shiv four times. Oh, you can find the assault rifle ammo pouches. Nice. I guess I, I, I thought it was where the shot the uh, other shotgun pouch was, that's why. So if they take four shivs, I don't know how many shivs they take on survival. I know the one thing was saying that O'Neill can be def it takes six sneak attacks to kill O'Neill. I'm assuming that was for, that's for survival difficulty, not for nightmare. So. There's Theodore's firewall. I wonder if that I wonder if that's supposed to be a play on the fact that we're inside a fucking machine. Oh, it says firewall. That's what he uses for protection. Probably not. Probably just because Theodore likes fire cuz he's a dick. So, are there any pre-Hoffman goodies? Cause I know this place gets fucking stacked up with supplies right before that little bit with Hoffman. It doesn't look like it. it. Doesn't look like they'll. Doesn't look like they'll let you shoot yourself in the foot by like scavenging all the supplies early and then using them all. Ooh. Double your pleasure, double your fun. I'll give it two more whops. I think you only have to hit him three times, but... Yeah. Oh, 
All I know is that fucking push towards Theodore's stronghold is going to suck all the dicks. Hey, we got the prey cup. I was wondering, the first time I went through, I was wondering what that was supposed to be from. And it's like, oh, wait a second. And someone was like, yeah, prey, mimics. Did we... Did they scoot around the back way over here? I know I went over... Yeah. Oh yeah, I looked... I looked down here. Because I thought this... I thought this was where the assault rifle pouch was going to be. <laughs> I'm actually curious though, does the melee upgrade only affect axes and knife attacks, or does it affect your sneak attack as well? Because technically the sneak attack is a melee attack, if you want to get technical about it. Alright, so there's fat bastards, I know there's fat bastards over there. There's a fatty right now. Hey, Pudgy. Fatty, fatty, fat, fat. <whistles> hey. You fat sack of shit. Oh, Grundle Funk! Taketh thy Grundle and go away. Away with thee, Fall Grundle! Eh, I got away far enough away from him, didn't really hurt all that much. Oh, here comes a Grundle 2. Grundle 2. Hyper Grundle. I mean, granted, stabbing these guys in the back is a little anticlimactic, because when they, normally when they die, they explode like a fucking can of worm, you know, can of those fun worms. They waddle pretty fast for being that rotund. I just think it's funny you can disarm the fatty. Oh yeah, those are two, like, flesh pipes. Probably funneling fart gas. Probably funneling the fartiest of gases. Oh, hey. Did you see... I think you saw. But do you wish to see? I don't think you want to see. You don't want to see. You want to turn your fire off, though. I know that much fatty. How did you see me through a solid object? Please explain how you s witness- oh. Okay, I call shenanigans on that. Shepard doesn't have time to fuck with this shit. God fucking damn, waste of goddamn fucking bullets. Even though I was clearly hidden. No, no, no. The lava men on Nightmare just happen to have extrasensory perception and can just be like, yo, there be a dude over there. Come on. I know you're gonna... There we go. And you're not gonna be anywhere close enough for a ambush. And 
and you lit yourself on fire. God damn it. Okay, turn around and wander back over there. Flame off. Come on. And yeah, it's one part I don't think I do like about the town being on fire. The town being on fire means there's lots of weapon parts. Well, gee, definitely going to be able to carry a lot of assault rifle ammo when I finally get it. I wonder if how much it's going to cost to make a AR bullets now. Because in survival difficulty, they only cost one gunpowder. Pistol bullets used to cost two, and now they cost three, so... I don't know, I, I guess the assault rifle bullets are probably going to cost two now, if anything. If they wind up costing three, I'm going to be a little disappointed. Okay, that's interesting. Okay, we got. We can make one harpoon bolt. Let's see. Now that I know I can just, that I can, you know, any health. It only takes four things to kill those dudes. was misplaced. I think that box was supposed to be in the back of the Humvee. I don't know. I might be crazy. Hey, Doom guy. How you doing, buddy? Don't worry, Papa Doom guy. I got your super shotgun. Wait, that's not super shotgun. I got your super shotgun. Of course, Sebastian doesn't know how to properly use it. He only fired... I can't believe I walked past these. What the fuck? And Sebastian don't properly know how to use the super shotgun. He fires one barrel at a time in rapid succession. He don't do it right. You gotta pull both triggers. Super shotgun not supposed to go bang bang. It's supposed to go thump, clunk, clunk, clunk. thump. He will lead us. Now go burn the zombies so I don't have to deal with them while I go pick up these weapon parts. Smarmy cocksucker. Actually, if you're active, if I come over here and you're actively running around, I think I can leave you to your devices. Uh, 
What? Okay. I think something is supposed to have happened and I either didn't see it or maybe I was spotted. I don't know. Ow. Oh, I rolled poorly on those crates. Got another nightcap though. Can't complain about goop. Gee, I almost have enough just to finish off upgrading the shotgun's attack power. Mm, thinking maybe I should have probably kind of almost save some of these for the assault rifle. I mean, if anything, the. It, even without attack power upgrades, the assault rifle's frickin'... The, the assault rifle's pretty fucking beastly if you have bullet cascade and you can stay on target. Because you get a deep clip and a lot of rounds to put out. Don't exactly know what it's a don't exactly know what its attack power is like in comparison to other weapons though. That's about the only thing I really don't know about it. It seems like it's probably comparable to the pistol, maybe slightly weaker. The the normal pistols, not the not the fucking revolver. The revolver is Sebastian's revolver is McBeastly. When it co compared to the other pistols. I don't know about the Magnum, though, because they decided to make the Magnum a fucking New Game Plus item, and it's sort of like... What? I don't know. Why are you in there? Dude. Come on, dude. Oh, crap. Dude. Where have I gone? Nowhere near your fucking flaming ass. Go away. Oh, hi. Okay, Sebastian, you, you do that there, buddy. Now, hopefully he didn't see me walk behind here. He probably saw me walk behind here. Yes. Well. Okay. So, I mean, yeah, it's a flamethrower, so I guess that makes sense, but considering all the other things I've hidden behind when I've had a fl jet of flame pointed directly at me, I'm calling shenanigans on that. Wait. Where? Where did it? Where did it put me in relation to the rest of the stuff? Because if it... I have full health, so it's before I fought the Grundles. No, the head's just stuck there now. So I have the Prey Cup. So I'm guessing it's when I was right before I fought the Grundles. 
But I only have two bottles. But I'm not hurt. But there's a there's only we're we're down a grundle. Grundle down. I repeat, we are one grundle down. Fat man down. Fat man down. No, no, we're not. Okay, so this is pre-Grundle. Grundle 5, the Grundling. Let's try to do it this time without getting, I don't know, exploded on. Okay, these guys don't seem to have the peripheral vision that, you know, some other enemies do. Alright, I'll just disarm the fat man. Come on. Come a little closer. Okay, so you can do... You don't have to be crouching to do that. cleansed still I think he's still bring around the rosying with me yeah he is Except for the fact that he knows exactly where I am. No, it won't. See you, fucker. Fuck you, I'm going into my invincible cereal box fort. And I'm gonna make my own checkpoint, because fuck your mother.
Now, do I have to follow Hoffman about O'Neill's, find O'Neill's whereabouts? Hi! Stab you in the dick! I'll stab you in the kidneys! Ignore me! Ow! Okay, so he got angry and stopped back there again. Hey, buddy! Where'd you go, buddy? Can I use one of these boxes as cover? Okay, I didn't mean to hit him with my axe. You will be cleansed. I don't want to. I have my own cleansing powders. You cannot hide forever from your sins. Like I told the other fucker, you don't know me very well if you don't think I can hide from my sins. I'm not religious, so there is no such thing as sin. So fuck you. Ha <laughs> You do not see this of course I don't heed his call. Oh, crap. Okay, so you can call of duty me through cover with that attack. Didn't mean to waste my axe on your gas tank, though. So, did that axe actually do any damage? No. We still gotta do this one more time. Okay. Luckily that attack doesn't do too much damage. You can still fucking see me through the gate. I know you can. Help me, mystery machine. So he wandered back over there. Embrace his flame. I don't want to. You embrace his flame. You seem to have a fucking hard on for the guy. You're gonna jump over that. Ooh, you're gonna look directly at me. Thank fuck that doesn't do a whole lot of damage. I'm okay. Alright, so you're going to throw your, your flaming temper tantrum there, and I'm going to assume you're going to go back down that alley again. Because your AI is being dumb and predictable. And now you're going to... No, you will be cleansed. You will lead us. I'm doing a pretty good job of it. So 
What are you? Okay, you're gonna go. You're go, you're resuming that that location. All right, you're gonna throw a temper tantrum there. Now you're gonna go right back down the fucking hallway that you went down last time. Although the fact that you're okay. Okay, uh, now he's dead. I stabbed his butt cheek enough that he died. Okay, so now we know how to abuse the Harbinger's AI. Good to know. So that dickhead's done. Okay, we have to go back down and gather all the stuff from Papa Doom Guy's little death corner, but it's pretty much time to end the video, and I want a cup of coffee. Because I kind of took multiple fireballs to the butt cheek. <laughs> If Sebastian had a hairy ass, he doesn't now. <sighs> then again, locations also kind of... That just happened. That that one right there just happened had to have a really abusable pattern. But yeah, it, it it definitely just seems yeah. Those guys, those guys' AI is a lot more abusable than I than I would than you'd think. So hey, that's that's nice to know. So once we get O'Neill's flamethrower and find a workbench, we can just craft that fucker up right away. Anyway, I'll catch you guys next time. Adios.